coming to the last step in protein synthesis process termination termination is nothing but uh, stopping of protein synthesis the protein synthesis is stopped right see the protein synthesis stopping process is called as termination right termination is also called okay termination of translation termination of translation right termination of protein synthesis or termination of translation done by the non sense codons done by the non sense codons see here non sense codons means which are not codes per amino acid tRNA that is nothing but which are not codes per tRNA which are not codes for the tRNA means which are not codes for amino acids which are not codes for the amino acids which are codes for the releasing factors which are codes for the releasing factors see within prokaryotic cells there is a three non sense codons are there three non sense codons are there we know about the genetic code within genetic code totally 64 codons are there within 64 codons there is a 61 codons are sense codons and three codons are non sense codons right 61 codons codes for amino acids and three codons are okay not codes for the amino acids which are codes for the releasing factors which are codes for the releasing factors so these three non sense codons codes for releasing factors are at one releasing factor one releasing factor two and releasing factor three these are the releasing factors these are the releasing factors so these are coded by non sense codons these are coded by non sense codons generally sense codons are codes for tRNA right see here non sense codons are non sense codons are codes for releasing factors these are the non sense codons okay which stops the protein synthesis how the stopping done by the non sense codons the stopping done by the okay releasing factors releasing factors releasing factors are coded by the non sense codons right uaa uag and uga these are the non sense codons which codes for the releasing factors which codes for the releasing factors right so when a site this is the a site this is the a site when a site opposite to stop codon so for suppose this is the a site this is the p site and this is the e site any case so this is the a site oh, this one is also a site right so when when okay a site is opposite to when a site is opposite to stop codon when a site is opposite to stop codon this one not codes for tRNA this one not codes for tRNA now this one not codes for amino acid this one codes for releasing factor this one codes for the releasing factor like this this is the releasing factor generally tRNA tRNA is coded but when sense codon sorry when non sense codon when non sense codon opposite to the a site okay this one is codes for the releasing factor this one is codes for the releasing factor right so once the releasing factor bind once the releasing factor bind act non sense codon the protein synthesis will be stopped the protein synthesis will be stopped automatically the 30th subunit is dissociated the 50th subunit is dissociated the polypeptide chain is dissociated the polypeptide chain is dissociated so the termination of protein synthesis especially done by the non sense codons the termination of protein synthesis done by the non sense codons non sense codons are not codes for amino acids which are codes for the releasing factors releasing factors are involved in the stoppage or stopping of protein synthesis right see once the releasing factor appear okay then the 30th subunit is dissociated the 50th subunit is dissociated and polypeptide chain is released the polypeptide chain is released see these are the different colors here different colors indicates here different types of amino acids so this is one of the polypeptide chain the polypeptide chain released right so that is about the termination of protein synthesis that is about the termination of protein synthesis process right we are coming to the next one is the energy expenditure energy expenditure means uh, protein synthesis process certain amount of energy is utilized so we are counting the energy we are counting the energy means at which stages or at which steps the energy utilization takes place in protein synthesis we are counting here right for suppose 
we know about the first step is the activation of amino acids activation of amino acids requires energy the energy supplied in the form of atp energy supplied in the form of atp so each amino acid activation requires one atp each amino acid activation requires one atp so number of amino acids are equals to the number of atps number of amino acids are equals to the number of atps for suppose in a protein in a protein okay polypeptide chain is there the polypeptide chain contains 50 amino acids right the utilized atp number is 50 atps so here 50 amino acids are there 50 atps are utilized right and the codon recognition the next step is codon recognition process each codon recognition each codon recognition one gtp is required remember this is atp and this is gtp right that is about the second step and next is the translocation movement of mr yeah movement of ribosome on mrna movement of ribosome on mrna so the each translocation each step of translocation right requires one gtp molecule one gtp molecule that's nothing but one codon one translocation one gtp one codon one translocation one gtp number of codons okay number of codons are there number of translocations are there and number of gtp molecules number of gtp molecules right here translocation translocation here equals to the number of translocations are equals to the number of peptide bonds number of peptide bonds number of peptide bonds are equals to the number of water molecules we know during peptide bond formation one water molecule is released the same manner number of translocations means each step of the translocation right equals to the number of peptide bonds and number of peptide bonds are okay equals to the number of water molecules okay we know about this concept the during peptide bond formation water molecules are released and counting total number of codons counting if okay, suppose this is the this is the one of the mrna sequence this is the one of the mrna sequence that mrna okay one of the person is given like this one of the mrna sequence is there that mrna synthesizes protein the protein contains the 30 amino acids the protein contains the 30 amino acids how many codons are present in that mrna or how many codons are used for the synthesis of that protein the question is very simple this is one protein the protein the protein contains 30 amino acids how many codons are responsible for this protein synthesis how many codons are responsible for that protein synthesis see here the total codons counting is n plus 1 n plus 1 n is indicates here sense codons n is indicates here sense codons one is indicates here non sense codon one is indicates here non sense codon okay here 30 amino acids 30 indicates here i already said here n plus 1 right 30 indicates here n is indicates 30 30 plus 1 30 plus 1 One is here nonsense codon. One is here nonsense codon. Thirty is here sense codons. Thirty is here sense codons. Total number of codons to code for the that protein, especially the protein contains the thirty amino acid. Total codons are required here. Thirty one codons are required. Thirty one codons are required. That is about the total codons, right? And next one, total number of nucleotides. Total number of nucleotides. See. we know about the codon this is one of the codon codon is always triplet codon is always triplet for suppose a u z is codon any codon is triplet right see here counting for the nucleotides counting for the nucleotides for suppose this is the one of the mrna this is the one of the mrna right the mrna codes for 60 amino acids the mrna codes for the 60 amino acids how many number of nucleotides are present how many number of nucleotides are present see generally we know about uh, the codons counting the codons counting is n plus 1 then each codon is triplet so 3 into n plus 1 3 into n plus 1 right so this is about the counting formula for this is about the counting formula for the total number of nucleotides 
I said here 60 amino acids. 60 amino acids. 60 plus 1. Total number of codons here 61. Total number of codons are here 61. So these are the codons. 3. 3 into 61. Here total number of nucleotides are 3 and 18. So the total number of nucleotides are here 183. Total number of nucleotides are here 183. So that is about uh, the energy expenditure and uh, some of the formulas to count uh, codons and uh, to count the nucleotides. Right? That is about the protein synthesis process. Coming to the last topic is the inhibitors of the protein synthesis. Inhibitors of the protein synthesis. See some of the chemical compounds which have the capacity to inhibit proteins synthesis. To inhibit protein synthesis. So these are called as inhibitors, right? One of the example is the tetracycline. The tetracycline binds to the 30S subunit of the ribosome, 30S subunit of the ribosome, and prevents the binding of MNSL tRNA. Prevents the binding of MNSL tRNA. Simple. This is the one of the mRNA structure. This is one of the 30S subunit. So one of the inhibitor is binded here. One of the inhibitor is yeah, bind it here like this. Once the antibiotic tetracycline is binded and there is no chance to bind MNSL tRNA. There is no chance to bind MNSL tRNA. So prevents the binding of MNSL tRNA. Right? That is done by tetracycline. Tetracycline prevents the binding of MNSL tRNA. Right? Then tetracycline binded 30 subnet of the ribosome. And gentamicin and streptomycin. Gentamicin and the streptomycin. These two are binds to 30S and 50S subunits of the ribosomes. 30S and 50S subunits of the ribosomes. Inhibits the protein synthesis. Inhibits the protein synthesis. And we know about the chloromphenicol. We know about the chloromphenicol. Okay, see most of the most of the case. Uh, see some of the people are there, some of the people affected by bacterial diseases. In that case, okay, doctors are given prescription. The prescription contains the chlorophenicol, especially the chlorophenicol inhibits the peptidyl transferase enzyme. Inhibits the peptidyl transferase enzyme, right? And next one is the erythromycin. Next one is the erythromycin. Erythromycin binds to 50S subunit. 50S subnet and prevents the translocation of ribosomes. Prevents the translocation of ribosomes. Right? These are the different types of antibiotics. These are antibiotics. Why these are antibiotics means see we discussed about the bacterial translation process. That is nothing but bacteria protein synthesis. See if the in, this is one of the bacteria cell within bacteria cell protein synthesis is blocked, the bacteria will be dead. The bacteria will be dead. But suppose any person infected with the bacteria or any bacterial disease, okay, any bacterial disease present within the human body, that time doctors are suggesting these antibiotics. If these antibiotics are entering to the disease person body, right, and these antibiotics blocks the bacterial protein synthesis process. These antibiotics are blocks the bacteria protein synthesis process. Once the bacteria protein synthesis is blocked, the bacteria will be dead. The bacteria will be dead. If the bacteria die, the disease will be cured. The disease will be cured, right? So that is about the inhibitors of protein synthesis. Inhibitors of the protein synthesis, right? In the next class, we will discuss about the gene expression process. Gene expression process, right?